Hey guys, welcome to Tapscode. We are going to start a new series on GraphQL. I'm not going to explain how GraphQL works, but rather I'm going to show you how to implement a backend GraphQL service with Spring Boot and later on wire that backend with Android application or a JavaScript client, right? So here I am in graphql.org why we need graphql we need to talk about that one first right so now the rest apis are very popular right so what's the matter with rest apis in rest apis we have resources and there are endpoints that client needs to call right so imagine that there is a blog service right so we need to get blog and then the comments and the who who wrote the comment and rating uh, for the particular blog post kind of bunch of data we need to pull back from the service right so in the rest world we have different different endpoints the client needs to call the blog post then call the comments then call the ratings likewise there may be multiple network calls to get the content and that is huge amount of data right so in graphql what we can do is we can describe our data in a schema format and we can ask actually what we need to get for a particular call for example we need to get blog and the comments we can say give me the blog and the post and the comments and kind of in expressive manner we can ask for the uh, what we need right right so that's basically graphql you can learn the graphql language by going to graphql.org slash learn right let's create a spring boot application to get started right i'm in spring initializer site uh, start.spring.io and i'm going to give it a group and an artifact id i'm going to give it that code right so in the options let's declare it as java and java 8 and let's add spring web for the project right so let's generate the project and open it in the intel j idea Okay guys, now all the dependencies has downloaded, right? So I mean the project. And we can run the main application here. Then we need to go to GraphQL Spring Boot Kickstarter project, right? Uh, this is the URL and you can also search in google and go to this one right so we need to basically this is a graphql tool star and other required dependencies uh, bundled into a spring boot starter right so we just need to add this dependency so other required all the dependencies will come for our project right so we can actually click the maven central link and it will navigate us to maven central repo and we can copy this one so this is the first dependency i'm going to add there are other dependencies for different different aspect of the project uh, maybe developing maybe testing and trying out right so uh, we need to first to have the graphql spring boot starter let's look at how to enable the graphql servlet right so there's uh, two ways actually so we can use graphql schema bean and manually build it and that is explained in this example if we go to source main application boot configuration 
uh, here is the graphql schema and new schema we are basically building the schema here in the bean in the java format right so another thing we can do is we can add the dependency and use the schema first approach so we need to go to the supported graphql schema libraries and let's add this dependence so as you as i told earlier we don't need the this dependency if we are going to manually specify the beam right so otherwise we need to add this dependence right so now it's all good let's run it again to verify that it's working now we have two dependencies which is graphql spring boot start and graphql java tools both come from com.graphql dash java dash kickstart group id because there are several other things other libraries we can use for the use as the starter but i'm going to use this one because this one is the latest updated one right so uh sorry i was running the test case let's run this one but as you see there is no graphql specified things right so let's add the graphql schema first because we are using this library the pattern is graphqls right so i'm going to add a resource called schema.graphqls right and there i'm going to define my query and type basically type is the data type we are going to use um, which is which is express the how data looks like right the query is the how we going to fetch the data and how what is the format and what needs to be written kind of thing right so let's add this annotation uh, first let's add this mapping enable true and course enable true flags to the application properties right so i'm going to change this to yml and paste that here right now we have schema and we have application yaml right so let's add the resolver uh, for the query and the data types and let's see how it works right so i'm going to have a type which is called book right uh, it is having a title which is type of a string and it cannot be null which is specified the exclamation mark right then we have isbn another string and the exclamation mark then we have a type query then the query name query name is get book i'm going to get the book by isbn right so string and it returns we need to have a colon and book so if it is a list we can add it like this right so now it's only one book so i'm going to add a book right so in the java package i'm going to add that package called model and have a java class called book and I'm going to have title and ISBN right let's have a constructor to these two and let's have get a setters to these two right let's have a package for resolver and let's have book resolver we need to implement the graph ql query resolver here and have a component here right so let's have the public get book method which returns a book make sure that types names and all that 
specified in the schema.graphql match with the java types right otherwise we will get some errors so we have to uh, die sbn here right so let's return a book which is a learn graphql right i'm going to have an, uh, some uh, isbn here right so this is basically the query uh, which is written in the book and we have the query and the book type specified here so let's rerun the application okay now uh, bean is catch up and it is running on the uh, server right so now basically we are having a, a graphql endpoint for the book which is get book right so let's use postman to query this okay guys i have opened a postman tab and you are list local of state at graphql right so we have graphql beta enabled in postman we can use that one right so let's have a query which is get book we need to pass ispn right of type of type string right now we need to get book and isbn is isbn let's ask for the title right now here is the graphql variables which map for this isbn uh, which is starting with the dollar mark we need to provide that all right so let's have that done here basically we need to provide the json right so let's copy the this one and paste it here and let's send okay guys i have done a silly mistake we need to get rid of this dollar mark and send it right so yeah we got the title here now we can add the one whatever the other things we need to get from the api likewise we can add the isbn and ask for it so we get the isbn isbn right so you got the point okay guys now we have created the spring boot graphql project and one query which is working right so from the next tutorial let's discover the aspect of graphql and why it with the android client in later video right so thanks for watching guys if you find this tutorial helpful please click like button and subscribe to our channel so happy coding guys bye bye